Hey, easy. Ralph, Ralph. Ralph, Ralph. And on fourth down, they come up and take the knee. Yeah, I'm speechless. You're, you're back in the shadow of your own goalpost. Well, uh, talk. I don't know. <laughs> I was hoping you would keep talking. First half, I bet. I was hoping that you weren't speechless because I have no explanation for this. It does remind me a little bit of a playoff game in the NFL a few years back where they ran a real trick play that was actually named after a song title. And they end up fumbling the ball deep in their own territory, set a bad tone for the game, and end up losing a playoff game. That's what that call there reminded me of. First and goal, a chance for an early statement here on the road. Here's Swift. And he will maneuver his way down to about the seven. Only a yard on the pickup there. Second and goal. Not a whole lot there on first and goal, and that's what you're looking for defensively. You'll certainly live with giving up just a yard or two in this situation. The line of scrimmage, the seven now on second and goal. And he is going to lose yardage here. That's a big loss of three, and it brings up third down. Well, there they went blitz defensively, Charles, and things were paved well coming from the linebacker position. I love the way that you described it, paved well. Oftentimes, the guy who gets home on the blitz, he's going to get all the credit. But his teammates did all the dirty work, right? They ran into people on purpose. They sometimes tug down jerseys to hold linemen to create space and gaps. And that play finished off really, really well. Well conceived, well designed, and even better executed. Now, there certainly was a lot going on on that play. Every option in the end zone covered. No place to go with the ball. Had to swing it out to the back. A good job running and getting him tackled in the open field. Now flags will come in. I think this one's going to be on the defense for jumping.